Hey guys, uh, my name's Phil. Welcome to this random little video about kick drum depths. I'm going to compare a shallow one and a deep one. And this information will be useful when you are deciding which size of bass drum you want to get. Whether you want to get a shallow drum or a deep drum. Or, indeed, if you already have a deep bass drum, this will help you decide whether or not you want to cut it down. So I had a 24 by 18 inch bass drum come in. Um, the client wanted me to cut four inches off of it so he could get it in and out of his car more conveniently. Uh, and me being me, the first thing I did was set it up with my butchie snare drum and some fantastic savings I got lying around and had a bit of a bash and I just loved it. But I wanted to know what the difference in the sound would be after I cut four inches off of it. So I got out my camera and I recorded myself playing some. And then I took a couple pictures of the placement of the kick mic in relation to the sound port on the bass drum head, which is very important for later. Then I took the bass drum out and I actually did my job. You know, I um, took all the hardware off it and then I cut it down and then I drilled the new holes and then I cut the bearing edge and I chewed up the edge and then I cut the bearing edge um, and put it all back together and set it up to keep playing. I'm not going to show any of that in, the, in this video. I have done videos about those, all those particular jobs in the past. The chewing, the bearing edges, the, the jig that I used to cut shells down. I'll put up a playlist for all that stuff. Yeah, so you'll notice when the bass drum is deep, it has um, more body, more, you know, um, bigness. It's just a bigger, wider, woofier, bigger sound because there's more air moving. A lot of that can get um, buried a little bit in the sound because it doesn't have the immediacy of it. Whereas when you cut the, the sound down, it's a little bit punchier, it's a little tighter, a little shorter, a little less sustained. You know, the fundamental pitch that you make from the tuning of your um, batter side head comes across much better. So you end up with a punchier, tighter sounding bass drum if you cut it down. If you wanna make it easier to get a deeper sounding bass drum pitch wise, then you need more diameter. The diameter gives you the pitch and the depth gives you the presence, let's say. That's just what I've found in my experience. Also, if your bass drum is shorter, you can get it into your car much easier. So there's that.
So yeah, there you have it. Uh, kick drum shootout thingy. Hopefully that made some sense and it'll help you uh, decide what bass drum to get, I guess. What bass drum size to get. Might, might help with that. Uh, ooh, that's actually pretty good. I like that. I should put that in the beginning. Mm. Yeah, I've still got tons of stuff in my reverb shop. If you guys want to go do that, there will be links in the doobly-doo, as well as, you know, super fun merchy stuff. Like always, don't forget to share, like, and subscribe, and hit the notification bell and all that fun stuff. If you'd like to know what's going on and what's coming out next, um, me too? Yeah. I guess that's all for now, and I'll see you when I see ya. <laughs>